If we have a triangle ABC, then we need to show that A times cosine of A plus B times cosine of B plus C times cosine of C equals 8 delta squared over ABC, where delta represents the area of a triangle ABC. First, we'll need to specify the triangle sides of the triangle. So let's say we have an acute angle triangle with vertices A, B, and C. The sides opposite to angle A, angle B, and angle C will be represented by the letter A, B, and C in lowercase respectively. Fine. Now, we'll start from the left-hand side of a given expression. So here we have A times cosine of A plus B times cosine of B plus C times cosine of C. So we will use the value of A, B, and C uh, by replacing with the respective sine values for that we'll have to use the law of sines the law of sines states that the ratio of side a to that of sine of the angle opposite to it will be equals to the ratio of side b to that of sine of the angle opposite to side b that, that's angle b this ratio is also equals to the ratio of side c to that of sine of the angle opposite to side c so that's angle c this is the law of sines and what we'll do we'll suppose that let these three ratios let these be equals to a common constant and we're going to call it lambda such that a can be represented as lambda times sine a then b will be equals to lambda times sine b and c will be equals to lambda times sine c so we'll use this value of a b and c then our left hand side is going to become lambda times sine a times cosine a plus lambda times sine b times cosine b and c will be replaced with lambda times sine c this will be multiplied to cosine of c now what we'll do we will multiply and divide each terms with 2 so that we get lambda over 2 this will be multiplied to 2 times sine a times cosine a so we're going to do this to the second term as well so we have lambda over 2 this will be multiplied to 2 times sine b times cosine b and the third term will be lambda over 2 multiplied to 2 times sine c times cosine c the reason why we wrote in this particular fashion because we know that 2 times sine theta multiplied to cosine theta so that's equivalent to sine to theta fine so let's use this particular formula that we can rewrite our it terms as lambda over 2 multiplied to sine 2a plus lambda over 2 multiplied to sine 2b and the third term is going to become lambda over 2 multiplied to sine 2c now from each of the term we can take lambda over 2 as the common factor so lambda over 2 is now multiplied to sine 2a plus sine 2b plus sine 2c so let's begin by first combining the value sine 2a and sine 2b by using the trigonometric formula which is we know that sine theta plus sine phi so that's given by 2 times sine theta plus phi over 2 multiplied to cosine of theta minus phi over 2 meaning we can get now lambda over 2 multiplied to so since we're combining the first term and the second term so this is going to give us 2 multiplied to sine of so here theta is represented by 2a and phi is 2b so we have 2a plus 2b over 2 which is nothing but a plus b multiplied to cosine of 2a minus 2b over 2 so that's going to give us a minus b plus sine c sine 2c even though we are combined sine 2c so we are uh, okay break it down to get 2 times sine c times cosine c so this will become evident in a moment why have again broken it down now we know that in any triangle abc the sum of the interior angles is 180 degrees that means let's write it down so we know that a plus b plus c they sums up to pi radian so if we keep a plus b on the left hand side and transpose c to the right hand side we're going to get pi minus c on the right hand side now if we take the sine on both sides then sine of angle a plus b this will be equals to sine of angle 
pi minus c. But we know that the value of sine pi minus c, that's simply sine of c. This tells us that sine of angle a plus b is also equivalent to sine of c. Now we're going to replace this sine of a plus b with the value sine c. So let's rewrite everything. We're going to get lambda over 2 cold multiplied to 2 times sine the web a plus b but this time we're going to use sine c multiplied to cosine of a minus b plus 2 times sine c times cosine c now the third term we broke it down back from sine 2c to 2 sine c cosine c now what we can do we can take sine c as the common factor from both the two terms we'll also take 2 as the common factor now that means we are now going to get uh, 2 lambda sine c divided by 2 and within the numerator uh, we are within we're going to get cosine of a minus b plus cosine of c fine so here 2 and 2 gets factored out so we have lambda multiplied to sine c so we have lambda sine c multiplied to cosine of a minus b plus cosine of c since we have already defined lambda times sine c, this will get replaced with the value c. So we have c multiplied to cosine of a minus b plus cosine of c. Now what we'll do this time, we're going to combine cosine of a minus b with cosine of c by using the formula. So let's first note down that we know that cosine of theta when added to cosine of phi, so that gives us the value 2 times cosine of theta plus phi over 2 multiplied to cosine of theta minus phi over 2. So we're going to use this particular formula to combine cosine of a minus b plus cosine of c. So we have c multiplied to, so we also have the factor 2, this will be multiplied to cosine of a minus b plus c divided by 2 times cosine of a minus b minus c divided by 2. Fine. Now what we'll have to do, we'll have to manipulate uh, cosine and cosine, uh, the both to the cosine values. So we have cosine of uh, a plus c okay, minus b divided by 2. And the second cosine can be also represented as a minus of b plus c all divided by 2. Why we are writing in this fashion? Because since we know that some of the interior angles that sum ups to 180 degrees, so a plus c can be replaced with pi minus b, and b plus c can be replaced with pi minus a. So let's substitute this back into our two expression. So we get 2 times c multiplied to cosine of, so in place of a plus c, we have pi minus b. So we already have a negative b here, so we're going to get negative 2b divided by 2. And then we have cosine of a minus, so in place of b plus c, we're going to have pi minus a divided by 2. So that gives us 2 times c multiplied to cosine of pi over 2 minus b multiplied to cosine of a minus pi over 2. But we know that cosine is an even function, meaning cosine of negative theta so that's equals to positive cosine theta. That's true for all even function, which means that cosine of a minus pi over 2. So that's equivalent to cosine of pi over 2 minus a. Which means now we have 2c multiplied to cosine of pi over 2 minus b multiplied to cosine of pi over 2 minus a. Now, what's the value of cosine of pi over 2 minus theta? So let's note that we know that whenever we have cosine of pi over 2 minus theta, so that's equivalent to sine theta. So since we have cosine of pi over 2 minus b, so we will get sine of b, and cosine of pi over 2 minus a is going to give us sine of angle a. Now, we know that in any triangle, so we have our triangle ABC with sides opposite to angle ABC represented by locus luta ABC respectively. Then the area of the triangle is given by half AC times sine B. 
and area of the triangle can be also given by half bc times sine a so from these two formula we can find out the value of sine a and sine b so that means we're going to get 2z to multiply to c so in place of sine b we're going to have 2 times delta divided by a c and in place of sine a we can use this particular formula to get 2 times delta divided by b c now immediately we observe here that c and c factors out and finally this leaves us with the value 8 delta squared divided by 8 b c so this is the expression on the right hand side hence we have showed it in triangle ABC, A times cosine of A plus B times cosine of B plus C times cosine of C that equals to A delta squared over ABC. Hence proved.